Guide to Solar Batteries, Are They Worth It? June 2024. Are solar batteries worth it? In general, installing a solar battery is worth it when you can achieve higher savings than the cost of ownership. A home battery can add over $10,000 to the cost of a solar panel system, but there are several scenarios in which you can take advantage of energy storage, including you can avoid the highest KWH prices on a time of use tariff, or when the price of electricity changes depending on the time of day. You can reduce energy demand charges, if included in your electricity costs. You cannot use solar panels alone as a backup power source during blackouts or suboptimal conditions, due to their variable output, but a charged battery can keep your appliances running. Plus, if the local electric company charges higher rates during certain hours, you can avoid costs by switching to a solar battery. What are solar batteries? A solar battery is a device that stores electric charge in chemical form, and you can use that energy at any time, even when your solar panels are not generating power. Although the battery backup systems that are coupled with solar panels are often referred to as solar batteries, they can store charge from any electricity source. This means you can recharge a battery with grid power when solar panels have low productivity, or you can use other renewable sources such as wind turbines. There are different types of battery chemistries, each with advantages and limitations. Some types of batteries are suitable for applications where you need a large amount of energy in a short time, while others work best when you need a steady output over a longer period. Some common chemistries used by solar batteries are lead acid, lithium ion, nickel cadmium and redox flow. When comparing solar batteries, you should consider both the rated power output, kilowatts or kW, and energy storage capacity, kilowatt hours or kWh. The rated power tells you the total electrical load you can connect to a battery, while the storage capacity tells you how much electricity a battery can hold. For example, if a solar battery has a rated power of 5 kW and a storage capacity of 10 kWh, you can assume the battery can power up to 5000 watts, or 5 kW, of the electrical load simultaneously. Since the battery stores 10 kWh, it can sustain a maximum load of 5 kW for 2 hours before depleting its charge, 5 kW x 2 hours equals 10 kWh. If the battery powers a smaller load of only 1,250 watts, or 1.25 kilowatts, it can last for 8 hours with a full charge, 1.25 kilowatts x 8 hours equals 10 kilowatt hours. It's important to note that the rated power of solar panels and battery storage systems are not the same. For example, you could have a 10 kilowatts home solar system with a battery that has a rated power of 5 kilowatts and 12 kilowatt hours storage bank. How much do solar batteries cost? You can expect to pay around $25,000 to $35,000 for a solar system and battery, depending on the size and other factors like your location, according to the U.S. Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. In terms of performance, lithium-ion batteries are considered the best option for home applications where you need daily charging and discharging. The latest lithium-ion batteries offer a lifespan of over 4,000 cycles, meaning they can last over 10 years with a daily charging cycle. Types of Solar Batteries all solar batteries have the same basic function, but each type is suited for different applications. Your solar battery will offer higher reliability and return on investment when its chemistry is suitable for the application at hand. Lead Acid Lead acid batteries are an established technology, commonly used by off-grid solar energy systems in remote locations. Lead acid batteries are affordable and have a well-established supply chain due to their popularity, so you can easily find vendors and technical support. Lead acid batteries typically have a charging life of 500 to 1000 cycles. Batteries should be fully recharged after each use, or the lifespan is drastically reduced. Lithium ion. Lithium ion batteries have become very popular in recent years since they can achieve synergy with solar panels and wind turbines. For example, the Tesla Powerwall and Enphase IQ are two types of lithium ion batteries commonly used in home solar applications. Lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries are a subtype of lithium batteries, characterized by a superior service life. The best LFP batteries offer a service life of over 4,000 cycles at 80% DOD, which means they can last for over 10 years on a daily charging cycle. This makes LFP batteries the ideal complement to solar installations. The main drawback of lithium ion batteries is the high price, but this could change in the near future. The U.S. Department of Energy is targeting a 90% energy storage cost reduction by 2030. Lithium batteries can also suffer a phenomenon called thermal runaway when used at high temperatures, which causes them to catch fire. Nickel-cadmium 
Nickel-cadmium batteries are characterized by their durability, tolerance to high temperatures and simple maintenance needs. Thanks to these performance features, nickel-cadmium batteries are popular in industrial and utility applications. Unfortunately, cadmium is highly toxic to humans, so nickel-cadmium batteries are not recommended in homes. Flow Flow batteries store energy by separating positive and negative electrical charges in chemical solutions, which are stored in separate tanks. When these two solutions interact, they undergo a reduction-oxidation reaction, redox, and the battery releases energy. This battery technology is also referred to as redox flow for this reason. The main disadvantage of redox flow batteries is their space requirement, and they are not cost-effective for small-scale projects. How to choose a solar battery The first step to choosing a solar battery is to understand your energy needs. The average annual electricity consumption for a U.S. resident was 10,632 kWh in 2021, which averages out to around 886 kWh per month, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Lithium-ion batteries are recommended for home solar systems since their long service life is suitable for a daily charge cycle. Home batteries can be classified based on how they interact with solar panels. Direct current or DC coupled batteries use the same inverter as your solar panels, and both systems are connected to the DC side. Alternating current or AC coupled batteries have a separate inverter, which connects directly to your home's AC wiring. You can only use DC coupled batteries if you have a hybrid inverter, which is designed to manage solar panels and energy storage simultaneously. If your solar panels have a traditional inverter that cannot handle energy storage, you need an AC coupled battery with a dedicated inverter. If you intend to use your battery as a backup power source, check its specifications to make sure it can operate off-grid. Not all solar batteries are designed to be used during power outages, and many models can only operate when synchronized with the grid.